women in wrestling. We did not evolve. We have always been here. In the shadows. Waiting, ready, motivated. And now Ring of Honor places its spotlight on women. And as we stretch our arms to make space, we inspire. As we put our babies to bed, we create fairy tales. And as we lace up our boots and wear our stilettos, we chase dreams of gold. We are strong. We are athletes. We are passionate. We are they. This is Ring of Honor. And this is women's wrestling. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Beyond the Bells, where we highlight all the action from the women's division of Ring of Honor and so much more right here on Women's Division Wednesday. I'm your host, Alyssa Marino, joined once again by our expert analyst, multi-time champion, Lufisto. Hello, Lufisto. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, we are missing Maria Canellis Bennett, the First Lady of Professional Wrestling and Ring of Honor Board of Directors member, but she will be back with us very soon because there are some huge things that are happening. We are just days away from Final Battle this weekend, where, as we saw over the past weekend, it will be Willow challenging Roxy for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. We are going to get into that a little bit more later on because this week, we have a Women's Division Wednesday exclusive sneak peek of Chelsea Green versus Miranda Alizé. Let's take a look. Welcome everyone to this huge Women's Division bout here on Ring of Honor Wrestling. Ian Riccoboni and I'm joined by the Allure as we head into final battle. And what a match this will be. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz for the official introduction. This is an ROH Women's Division match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Rescott of Houston, Texas. The Lucha Batty, Miranda Alizé. This time I'd like to welcome Angelina Love and Mandy Leon to the commentary position. Allure, you gotta like what you see with Miranda Alizé. You gotta like having us doing commentary. This is a blessing for you. No, you do. Come on. I, I can't say that it is not a, a great time to have you out at the booth. Well, you know, last time you got... You hit a little nerve. You called me some names. Maybe we could avoid that this time. Are your feelings hurt? It's just a little. Do you think oh, that bothers on. us? Oh, Man, they are. Well, here is a world-class opponent for Miranda Alizé. Alizé made it all the way to the finals of the tournament to crown the Ring of Honor Women's Division Champion. And this woman has called her shot, and she wants neck for that title. She just told you to, yeah, she told you to be quiet, so hush. World-class athlete. I mean, that's a strong statement, don't we think, for Chelsea? I mean, her and I got the Canadian thing going, you know? But she's rubbed me and and I a little bit in the wrong way. We have to keep reminding you. Her opponent, wrestling out of Victoria, British Columbia, Chelsea Green! Well, yourself and Chelsea have crossed paths in many different places, in different worlds, you could say. But you both share in common, both former Impact World Champions. Yeah, but she's in our house now. Yeah, and we have to keep reminding her of that. Yeah. It gets annoying. Well, if I can give them any credit at all, I'm sure this match will be hard hitting. There you go. Code of Honor adhered to. A little bit of a, a reach and height advantage for Chelsea Green, but that has not proved to be a disadvantage for Alizé in the past. He's very quick, trained in Lucha Libre and the American professional wrestling style. And interesting, the, both women have the dichotomy. You know, Chelsea Green, the hot what? mess. She's got two sides to her. Same thing with the Lucha Batty. I mean, I agree with that. Yeah. I find the hot mess is agreeable. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, uh, everybody seems to little be a little bipolar in this locker room these days. But again, you know, this is the Allure's house. Well, we are moving to... the Allure's to house. I'm going to keep saying it. Maybe a different era. It's, it's kind different of a, little, era. a little scary. I mean, this, this era... We've made no mistakes about it coming to coming to a bookend at Final Battle, which is coming up this weekend, Saturday, December 11th. And I know that the allure that, that you all have been looking forward to that. We always do. We always do, because we dominate the Final Battle, that's why. And these new girls who just keep coming in and pushing our buttons and acting like they don't know is our house. Whoa. Well, a lot of exciting action here. The big drop kick, Chelsea Green. 
know, is there an East Coast versus West Coast Canada thing? Is that is is that like in the United States? I mean, if there wasn't, there is now because I don't like her. There you so. go. And look at that, Alizé getting out of harm's way, avoiding the pin. See, smart, you know, very smart. And I got to say, your breath. you know, if there's anybody that we would root for, hypothetically speaking, because we don't really like anybody, but in this match, I am team Miranda. What about you, Angelina? Yeah, I mean, if we had yeah, to we choose, had to. we would obviously go with Miss Batty. There you, well, Chelsea Green on the outside here. Chasing Alize, and look, she stuck her thumb out and her, her tongue out. Excuse me. Oh, look at this! See, she, this is like this is like she's chasing my daughter. I mean, I appreciate this because she's messing with Chelsea, and we like to do that as well. So Chelsea's gonna, whew, she's like running a marathon. She's done. And Bye. allowing the opening to take advantage, the big drop kick sends Chelsea to the outside. See, smart, smart. Smart thinking. Can't she disagree just, with that. She's just had to run a marathon around oh. the ring, and now she's going to be able to continue on the outside. Exactly. You know, those barricades she are not her. fun. No. She tricked her. She got her right where she wanted her, and now she's in control, and she's being brutal. That's what I like to see. Throw her in the other one. Come on. Grabbing there Chelsea by the main. Oh, sending her into oh. the barricade again. Welcome to Ring of Honor, Chelsea Green. Oh. It hurt. hurts, don't it? The Allure's House. And Miranda won three matches in the title tournament. Wow, she was three matches. Well, she almost can't. Hey, why isn't it Miranda? I beat Max. House? Let's not forget that's that. That's true. You, that is true. You defeated Max the Impaler. The, the only defeat for Max the, the Impaler. The only defeat for yeah, Max and, the um, Impaler. With strong victory, it was. There was a lot happening in that tournament where one of us should have had a championship, but whatever. You know, it's okay. Alize outside and plants her down. Basement Hurricane Rana now hooks the leg, grabs the wrist, nice tight cover, just a two count there. Miranda has a very Rouge-esque personality in the ring, and I dig that. It's intense. Oh. Oh. And the shots across the sternum and now across the jaw, but it's Alize grabbing the wrist, nice standing switch. Wow, oh, plants the man. knees in the face of Alize. Payback uh, is a. Well, I don't believe we can say the word that usually fatty. comes next. There, there you go. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and as both women are down, our referee Jake Clemens administering the standing ten count here. Each woman trying to get back to their feet. We are less. We are mere days and hours away from final battle Saturday, December eleventh. Honor Club Fight TV pay-per-view is going to be a heck of a happening. And you know the allure will be there. In what capacity to you be determined, but you know we're going to be there. You can't miss the biggest event of the year. No, and it wouldn't be a final battle without the allure. Uh, yes. That is right, Ian. Thank you for realizing that. Oh. Finally said something Oof. right. Boy, finally. Rolls up Alizé. Two. Great combination there. Two. Green back to her feet first. Clothesline sends Alizé down. Alizé sent down again. And it's Green firing on all cylinders off the ropes. Catches the single leg pick. Oh. Wow. No, thank you. Nice drop kick downstairs, too. Thought that could be it. Chelsea Green's really been at the top of her game. We've seen her in impact in NWA here in Ring of Honor. She And she could have stayed there. She what? She has what? all these options. She does not need to come mess with the Allure. See, I got I to say now, though, this is the time where Chelsea should dig and bring out that hot mess side to win this match. And we haven't yeah. seen that here. We, we might have. like her more if she had more hot mess wow. showing. Wow, look at the missile drop kick from Chelsea Green. We've only really seen just Chelsea here. One, two. Absolutely right. You, know, that, well, you that never know, she might just show up in a dirty wedding dress one day and <laughs> broken bottle of champagne. I wouldn't put it past her. I've I'm had my heart it. broken, and that was my reaction, too. Not the wedding dress, but similar. Come Do you want to talk about Come it? Come on, Ian. Do you want to talk about it? Real. Maybe not on the air. Maybe we can arrange. Ooh, stomp on the feet. Yep. And able to break the hold there. Looking for a snapmare instead. Grabbing a hold of the wrist, keeping oh. it tight. Knee to the face. And now it's Miranda planting Chelsea. Time. Hooks the leg. Cover. Two. Oh, just a two count there. Just two. 
feel like Miranda's pretty much got Chelsea where she wants her. Miranda's certainly in control at this point. What a win that would be. We know that Willow will challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship and final battle. Holla Dead will get the winner on the Christmas episode. But a win here will likely may determine who the next challenger is. As Alizé out of the way. Oh, into the bottom turnbuckle, the second turnbuckle. And now, man. Oh! All right, the well, bottom. good seeing you, Ian. We good. got a little uh, Mandy just get? Where impromptu. Where are you going? No. Hey, Angelina, uh, what, where are you going? What is, and, and, and Alizé, and what is Mandy Leon doing with the camera? She's supposed to be here on commentary. What is, what are they doing? Alizé with the cutter! Cutter plants Chelsea! And now Alizé. No, come on. Green had her dead to rights and now it's the drive-by! And Green is out! Chelsea's out! Hooks the leg! Two! No! The winner of this match, Miranda Alizé! Miranda Alizé, who was trapped in the half crab. Great back and forth bout. Could have gone either way and looked like it was headed in the direction of a victory for Chelsea Green. Instead, the allure inserting themselves into this bout, costing Chelsea Green the victory. Miranda Alizé picks up a big time victory. When there's other factors involved, I feel like there's really, there's no way to prepare when, when the allure is, is in any way involved in a match. And I can only imagine that kind of frustration. I think no matter what, there is always something to be said when one or both of the allure are anywhere in an arena during a match. Yeah, There'll always be a factor. In the ring, around the ring, at commentary, you can always expect the unexpected with them. And, of course, uh, that's exactly what happened. And I don't think Chelsea was ready for anything um, that had to do with the allure, at least not to that extent. It's very true. I mean, we saw these two competitors, Chelsea Green and Miranda Alizé, on opposite sides mm -hmm. of tag teams on a Women's Division Wednesday exclusive a few months ago. But there is a different kind of aggression that is really kind of palpable and, and even more frustration now for Chelsea. I think that maybe to get a little bit more insight from mm -hmm. this match, let's let's bring on someone that uh, had a uh, a real front row seat for the action. Let's bring on the world famous hot mess, Chelsea Greens. Hello, Chelsea. Woo. How are you? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, we're so glad to have you back again with us. Now, obviously, you know, after this match that we just saw, where's where's your mindset at right now? Um, I'm I I'm pretty disappointed, to say the least, because I have shared the ring with Miranda many, many times, and it goes back beyond Ring of Honor. You know, we've shared the ring all over the world. And so now to be able to have a singles competitive match with Miranda Alizé in Ring of Honor, finally, and then to have that happen, to have the allure come down from commentary, it, it's just really, really frustrating to me because, um, you know, I wanted to give the people an awesome show. And I also wanted a fair shot. I, I think that that's not asking too much um but i should have known better when the allure is involved in anything always hits the fan i'm not going to say the word but bleep always hits the fan yeah. do you have any idea on why would miranda um would kind of target you is, is there a backstory anything that happened in the past because we saw in the match with willow um, she came, like, we weren't sure if she was helping the allure or she was just getting into the action, but it seems like she kind of jumped right away, like, right on you, like, she, if she had a plan. Uh, any idea of why that would be? I'm trying to figure that out because our history is not 
that tumultuous. Um, definitely not not tumultuous enough to cheat to win. Um, but I do think she's been showing signs of of being this type of of wrestler throughout her career at Ring of Honor. We've seen a lot of these little characteristics come out in the in the women's tournament and things like that. So. I don't know why I'm so surprised. I guess because she's now doing it to me. I've been an outsider watching her do these things. I've been on commentary while she's done these things. So I shouldn't have been surprised. But but really, the shocking thing is the alliance that she has formed with the Allure. I'm not, I'm just not understanding that. Maybe I'm not understanding it from purely a physical standpoint. You know, she is like this little red firecracker and they are just like these evil witches this you know <laughs> and, and they already know i feel that way so um if you want to if anybody wants to go ahead and, and tweet them they're like the wicked witches of the west um so <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm not sure what is going on here um but i really hope that we can get to the bottom of this and um have a fair next match Mm-hmm. moving forward but yeah. well I mean as we saw moving forward at final battle you are going to be joining with the Hex Marty Bell and Allison Kay against Miranda Alizé and the Allure I mean obviously during your quest for gold you you talked about being on commentary and being able to keep your eyes on all the talent how do you feel like that kind of role has helped prepare you for going into the historic final battle you really have to kind of expect the unexpected when it comes to the allure and now apparently Miranda. Um, had I had I truly studied the, them, the three of them, the way that I should have, I think I should have known that that was going to happen. And I didn't. I did not see it coming. Um, so that that is an interesting thing moving forward now that um, in the next few, you know, days I I really have to prepare in a different way prepare in a way that I didn't prepare um these past couple months and the the very good thing right now is you're with the ex the NWA women's tag team champion so you're uh I wouldn't say you're in good hands because you're with you're partnering with them but what a great team that is like you the, the three of you together I'm really excited as well because beyond them having this amazing resume and past and history together I actually am friends with them and I go way back with them as well and and we have kind of come up the ranks together there will be some kind of trying to figure each other out trying to juggle each other as as you do with any tag team um but I don't know that I could have been put with two better females in this division and especially um, I don't think that I could have been put with a better tag team. So things are looking thing is, up. Mm-hmm. The good thing is you guys already have some sort of chemistry. We still don't know if Miranda and the Allure can coexist together. I, You know what? That's a good point because a lot of times the bad guys turn on the bad guys. It's like no one in this group has a moral compass, really. Yes. It's all yeah, about like me, 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 me. So can the three of them can actually be a cohesive unit and work together and not do like, I want to ha- be the star of this match. I want to be in control. I'm the boss of this group right now. So that might be where you guys can, you know, have an advantage over them. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that cohesively, they may not work. <laughs> and <laughs> I already know that, that the three of us, the Hex and myself, we do work um, and we respect each other. And um, so it'll be, it, it'll be very, very interesting to see who turns on who first, <laughs> the Allure or Miranda. Very, very good point. There's definitely a lot of ambition, a lot of uh, you know, self-focus uh, on the opposite team. And I feel like you and the Hex are truly fighting on the side of good to really shut down some bullies. So, um, you know, of course we stay uh, completely unbiased, but we are wishing you luck. Um, <laughs> now, speaking of, of going into final battle, you were there, you were in the arena when Willow's hand was raised in victory as the number one contender for the ROH World Women's Championship. And of course, I know that you 
had your own eye on the title, but how does it feel to know that the babe with the power will be getting the opportunity at final battle? I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't know Roxy before this tournament, but with that being said, my eyes are completely open. She is one of the best female wrestlers going right now. There, there, there's no, there's no fighting that. Um, but Willow, she's been one of the best for the past couple of years. We saw her rise up to the top really, really quick. And she kind of, the way that Roxy is coming up, she kind of had that same like trajectory. And so I'm very excited to see now they're both at the top. They're, they're, they're going to um, fight a really fair fight. And I, I know that I'm going to be watching as, as a fan. And I, I think we're going to have some feline visitors watching as fans as well. I'm surprised uh, we don't have any feline visitors on my end here. <laughs> the pet cameos are truly one of my favorite parts of Beyond the Bells, uh, as well as our incredible guests. So, uh, but now with, of course, Final Battle just days away, right around the corner. Chelsea, what has the experience been like for you to be part of the women's division of Ring of Honor? Oh my gosh. I mean, this has been the best few months of my career every single time that I get on the plane to um, fly to ring of honor I'm so excited and I'm hopeful um, and just being able to interact with a whole different roster male and female has been really really cool um, especially because ring of honor is such a tight-knit family this I, I wasn't in this family before. And so these are I, these are truly people I'm meeting for the first time, most of them, 99% of them. And um, and so now I, I really can't wait to see them all put everything out there for final battle. And I know that they're going to put on the most amazing, amazing, amazing performance ever. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. And I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to be a part of this very tight-knit family. That's so very sweet. And we're, of course, looking forward to seeing that match, all the matches, your three-on-three -three tag team bout. Um, any any you know, final thoughts that are going through your head ahead of final battle? We, as wrestlers, are going to, we're going to leave it all in the ring. We're putting it all out there. And I'm really excited for this. I'm more excited for this than I have been for anything in, in a really long time. And, and I hope that, you know, people whatever they're doing stop what you're doing and pick up your laptop pick up your phone pick up your ipad turn on the tv and and support ring of honor fans you know people in the back everyone that took the time to set up the ring and the lights all the commentators um you know the ring announcer like everyone i just i just hope that everyone kind of like feels the love well, we'll certainly be feeling the love as we're tuning in so uh, Chelsea, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. I know that you said you have a lot of a lot of studying that you're going to be doing, a lot of preparation going into this weekend. So we wish you the best of luck. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Chelsea. Honestly, what a what a good soul, you know. And it's it's one of those things where, like we said, it's it's the hex and Chelsea are the force of good that I think are are fighting the good fight going into final battle. Mm. And speaking of the for you know the force and the good and everything, um, one thing I just remembered is at the end we of the match with Willow and Mandy, we saw something I was not personally expecting. Oh Mandy my god, I'm so glad you brought this up. I'm so glad Willow you brought this up. Fan. How what what was Angelina's thought when she saw that? Did, first of all, did she see it? Was she backstage? Um, it's like mm. they even said it on commentary. The allure doesn't do the code of honor. That is not, that's just mm -hmm. not a thing. And the fact that even there was a hug between Mandy yeah, and Willow. Her. Like there, what is going on? I really felt that Mandy was really emotional too. Yeah. Like this is a side of Mandy I, I haven't seen and I kind of like it. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I mean, of course this, I think it was a glimmer, a glimmer of hope that we saw for Mandy because then we saw right back to, you know, her tactics uh, from, from this match with Miranda and uh, Chelsea. But I do think it's one of those things because you had said it, Maria had said it in past episodes of Beyond the Bells that there was kind of this thought that this may have been mm -hmm. Mandy's time. Yeah. 
this could this was this was a huge opportunity for Mandy, and I think that the emotions were were very high, like you said. Um, but even just going back to, I know we said we would touch back on it. The match between Mandy Leon and Willow was obviously there was such an an outpouring of emotion, but an outpouring of the dang locker room coming to ringside because <laughs> I mean, wow, <laughs> that, that was so wild. Well, we've been asking for weeks, what, what is going on with Max and Amy and the allure? I don't know if they, if the allure owes money to Amy Rose or Max, but obviously they haven't paid what they were supposed to pay because Max just like, they were like, no, nope, that's it. And just threw in Jolita on top of everybody else <laughs> and they left. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's why Angelina may not have seen the uh, the, the yeah. emotional side of Mandy was because she had been laid out by by Max Beaton Taylor. She was probably, um, probably running to the parking lot already from Max. Seriously, I think Angelina Love was probably, if anything, trying to head for the hills, uh, running away <laughs> from Max. Uh, but yes, I'm I'm I think it was a situation where there was a lot of emotion and and. Obviously, tensions were very high as they led to this match between Chelsea and uh, Miranda. So now it's one of those things where I, I you got to be wondering with Miranda, there has been, since the quest for gold came to an end and since Roxy was crowned the ROH Women's Champion, there has been this undeniable frustration that we have seen building and building and building. So what do you think Miranda's mindset is now, knowing that Roxy is going to be defending her title at this epic final battle? I'm, I'm just wondering if she's thinking at all. I, I, I feel it's all about emotions and how she feels at that very moment. And I feel the emotions are controlling the mind. Like as soon it, it it's like she's not she's not necessarily thinking about what she's gonna do. She she just she does. Mm -hmm. And I, I since the the since she lost the opportunity to become the Ring of Honor Women's Championship champion. Yeah, I just feel like she's a little bit all over the place. So she jumps on Chelsea. Chelsea doesn't know exactly why. She said they don't really have a past history. Now there seems to be kind of a an alliance with the allure. And obviously she still has, you know, a lot of hatred for Roxy. So she's kind of all over the place right now, um, which, like, I, I don't know how good it can be for her as a competitor that she's so, yeah, all over the place. So, yeah, I just mm -hmm. think that not winning the Ring of Honor Championship when, when she was so sure, you remember, I'm the one, it's me, it's my time, and that doesn't happen. I, I kind of I, I think she went a little bit cuckoo with all that. It's definitely one of those things, that, like you said, there was such a cool, compo I mean, obviously Miranda was always like a little bit fiery, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lucha Batty lives up to her name, but there was a a composed confidence that I think Miranda had throughout the quest for gold. And then when the quest for gold came to an end, uh, yeah, I don't know if they, they switch flicked somewhere, but now think about this dynamic going into final battle. We have Angelina Love, who was defeated in the quest for gold. We have Mandy Leon, who was defeated in the quest for gold and lost a number one contender opportunity. And we have Miranda Alizé, who has not minced any words and even attacked our champion. Mm -hmm. I am terrified at that dynamic. <laughs> I mean, it could be one of those things where all of these personalities, all these ambitions maybe combust. But if they can get on the same page, that is a dangerous force to be reckoned with. It's either like a recipe for destruction or a recipe for disaster. So which one it'll be, I guess we'll know at final battle. We will certainly know at final battle. And I mean, obviously it is a, a huge weekend that is coming up for everyone. So here, we, 
just have a few headlines for the news this week. So uh, this Friday, two competitors that we saw on Women's Division Wednesday will actually cross paths once more. Trish Adora will be teaming with Dark Sheik against Janai Kai and Quest for Gold competitor Nicole Savoy at West Coast Pros Iceland in San Francisco. And then this weekend at Warrior Wrestling, Thunder Rosa defends the Warrior Wrestling Women's Championship against Mercedes Martinez and as we just saw, Chelsea Green will be facing a uh, recently crowned AAW Women's Champion Sky Blue. And then after a successful defense of their NWA Women's Tag Team titles, the Hex, as we mentioned before, Marty Bell and Allison Kay, they will be in action at Shine 70 this Sunday to defend their Shine Tag Team Championships. And of course, my friends, this Saturday, December 11th, the historic final battle in Baltimore, Maryland. So I, I we like to open it up to the chat. Uh, I mean, who is walking out a final battle, the ROH Women's Champion? Is it going to be Roxy? Is it going to be Willow? Uh, Lufista, what do you think? I, I just I just want to sit down and enjoy that match, really. Um, may the best woman win, because I, I know it's going to be a great, great match. Two incredible competitors. Willow has said that she is bringing her spontaneity, her sunshine. You can't, some, you can't shut down the sun. Uh, so we will see if, if if Roxy can shut down Willow and retain her ROH Women's Championship. Lefisto, this has been it's such a, a fun episode. Of course, always a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, to my friends at home, be sure that you get your tickets on ROHWrestling.com for Final Battle or stream the event live with your Honor Club subscription starting at 7 p.m. Eastern this Saturday. So for Lefisto, I'm Melissa Marino, and we will see you next time on Beyond the Bells to break down Everything that has happened at Final Battle. We'll see you next time on Beyond the Bells. New champion! New champion! New champion! When I won the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship, I made a promise to everyone that I was going to be a fighting champion. And I have been doing just that. I have been traveling all over the country defending this championship against some of the most talented independent wrestlers in the world. And if anybody thinks that I'm going to just throw all of that away at Final Battle, they are sorely mistaken. At Final Battle, I defend the championship against Willow. To be very, very honest, I am inspired by Willow. She inspires me to just, to just go out there and, and be myself. I personally feel that I came to Ring of Honor at exactly the right moment. It's really heavy to think about the possibility of having a title match at final battle, no matter the circumstances, but also with the added element of the uncertainty of what happens afterwards, that really kind of cements the legacy of what this year's final battle will be. And I don't get to just play a small part in it. I get to face Roxy. Roxy's a great competitor. She's young, but like, she's got heart. I've got heart, she's got heart. I've got strength, she's got speed. I guess it'll be time to look in the mirror. She'll really put me to the test. We'll see if uh, I'm as good as I think I am. I'm going to win at final battle because I want to walk out of final battle, the first and last Ring of Honor Women's World Champion and I want to represent Ring of Honor forever.